So welcome back to my channel. This is the Great Phone Repair channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work a water damage touchpad clip I put from the panel. So stay tuned to understand the workings and how it was done. So first of all, you unclip your battery. That is, you disorder your battery from the panel. Then unclip all the flex from the board. Yeah. So once that is done. You unscrew your screws, you remove your screws in order to take out your PCB board. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Please, it gives me the motivation to do more videos. Please subscribe, God bless you. So, this is a new touchpad. This is a new touchpad that you bought from the market. New touch screen. And then you download the schematic. The schematic diagram of ITEP 1516 Plus. So, this is how it looks like. Just cut out the important part. So, next, you get your touchpad, the new touchpad that you bought. This is the new touchpad. And carefully apply your paste on the tip. Then, your mechanic paste come next as your liquid lead. This work will be done by liquid lead. Please subscribe okay then use your sodium ion this is it okay take it out the excess lead this is it a neat work now start jumping them one after the other with your jumper wire one after the other carefully that you read it carefully yeah this is it now get your result inspect if there's any bridging if so that now you have to avoid it from sparking make sure there's no bridging didn't bridge yeah to avoid short circuiting now apply your alcohol then brush it brush it brush the excess lead and paste then install your PCB board here is your PCB board so from the schematic diagram, first leg should go to the PTIN. That is the five dots close to the camera. So it will go to the PTIN. So the first one should be soldered there. So wait for the soldering to be done. Separate it right on tango with the rest. Yeah, after the first connection, second one should go to the TP ROS from our schematic. Now, from the board, watch carefully to see where we should in it. Carefully remove it. 
We got the wood tango as well. Soda carefully. Soda. So now the third one should go to the P TPSD TPSD so carefully soda yeah so that the third one is going to be the TPSD from our schematic diagram make sure you download your schematics before doing this operation or you watch carefully where yeah, I'm soldering it so after that is done move to the fourth one okay the fourth one is going to be to the TPSC TPSC that's where the fourth one is going to TPSC So that carefully. So the fifth one is GND. That is ground. The GND is so that to any of the or the negative side of the battery or. That is the ground. You can solder it anywhere. Careful, you soda it to the ground. That is, you soda it to the negative side of the battery. That is it. So the fifth one should be. So the fifth one should go to the TPVD. 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 That is the sixth one. Sixth one should go to the TPVD. All this what I'm calling is at a schematic please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're learning anything share the video so this is it work done so inspect any Wire that is not so the jump wire that is not soldered very well and soldered very well. Now service it, apply chemical that is alcohol to service it. Next, you carefully separate the wires, the jumper wire, for it not to bridge, to join, and the minimum bridging, for them not to be short circuiting. So now you test it with your meter if there is anywhere it's short circuited, if there is anywhere it's bridging. So carefully check it with your multimeter. The continuity should be set at a multimeter. If you do not hear any beep, then you are good to go. Switch it on. Now it's coming. Now let's wait for it to boot. Let's wait for it to boot. Now it's on. Now it's tested. Okay. Perfectly. So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe give me motivation to do more share the video hit on the notification button to get notified anytime i upload a new video please subscribe thank you